What's up y'all, Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing and today we're talking about reasons you should not renovate your RV. Now, we got 10 reasons and uh, hopefully you can learn from our mistakes. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hopefully you're having a great day. Today it's all about reasons not to renovate and we don't want to discourage anyone from renovating but also we want to keep it real and give you 10 reasons why you might want to reconsider. And today we're not talking about renovating as far as like uh, maybe adding a backsplash to your kitchen area or some small uh, modifications. We're talking about an all out renovation. So with that said, let's hop into the list of 10 reasons not to renovate your RV. <laughs> Coming in at number 10, and this is one of the most important ones to me, do not renovate if you respect and care about your body's well-being. Renovation is a huge detriment to our physical bodies. I can't speak for anyone else, but I know my hands constantly are sore with either cuts or tenderness, up and down, up and down. That motion has my knees and thighs always always in the recovery mode so if you don't want to put your body through so much abuse you might not want to renovate because that's what it's all about getting in there getting in awkward positions and doing repetitive motions over and over and over again all right guys coming in at number nine a reason not to renovate is if you don't have a space to renovate this is obviously a lesson that we learned. It is not easy to do any sort of renovation if you don't have the space to do it. In our experience, I really mean, we don't have any shelter covering the top of the Argosy. Therefore, if it was ever raining, it was very, very hard to work on the outside of it. And uh, it was hard to work because we had no place to cut wood or work with wood outside the rig without it getting wet if it was raining. So if you don't have a place to properly renovate your RV, it might be in your best interest to reconsider renovation or to find a place to renovate it because without the proper location, it's not a good thing. <laughs> Counting down to the eighth reason not to renovate. Simply, if you are on a strict or tight timeline, don't even consider renovation. I don't know about uh, everyone, but I do know from our experience and from hundreds of people we talk to who have experienced renovating, one of the most common truths about the renovation process is that nothing happens on time. Even if Olivia and I are on schedule, oftentimes we were waiting around for parts to come in, or we were waiting around for someone with the specialized skill to complete a task that we couldn't do. So if you are on an extremely tight timeline, don't renovate. <laughs> Later on this week, we'll get into a video of reasons why you should renovate, but if you are on a strict timeline, don't even think about it. All right, guys, counting it down, number seven. We are on to, if you are trying to save money, don't renovate. Might seem a little counterintuitive, but if your sole purpose is to try to save money, I would suggest not renovating because it does cost a lot of money and on top of that it costs a heck of a lot of time and like they all say time is money if you're just trying to save money through the renovation process I just don't know if the upside is there for you so trying to save money don't renovate Working our way on down the list to number six. Don't renovate if you don't have the tools. This is another hard lesson we had to learn. Uh, 
we did not enter into the renovation process with a lot of tools. So as often as we found ourselves going to the hardware store to buy things like screws, nails, the common things you're gonna need, we also found ourselves going to the hardware store to buy tools. And as an RVer, it's not always awesome buying tools because we're not gonna be able to take all those tools with us when we hit the road. So we are just left to keep them somewhere, which will most likely be our family's house. But if you don't have options like that, then it's just one more thing to store, one more thing to come back to, and a lot of money to invest. So if you don't already have the tools, you might wanna think again about renovating. Halfway down the list, number five. This is if you don't have skills. Just like the last one, if you don't have tools, maybe not renovate, but if you don't have skills, you might not wanna renovate because a lot of the time that we spent on the renovation was learning skills. And this is not a quick process. For us, the learning process is obviously taking in the knowledge, but then also putting it to work and learning it ourselves takes trial and error. There have been multiple projects we had to redo completely because of the learning curve. So if you don't already have the skills to renovate, then you might not want to do the renovation. Olivia and I have learned so much and now we have lifelong skills, which is awesome. But there are a lot of ways to learn lifelong skills that don't require so much work while a renovation is going on. All right, y'all, so we're working our way down a list to number four. And number four is if you've had a hard time finishing projects in your past, you might not want to bite off something like a renovation. I know at many points in my life, completing a project has seemed very difficult. And uh, I just don't think that Having that history is always a good way to get started on such a long and daunting process that requires much mental and physical endurance. So if you have a history of uh, not being able to complete a project, starting one like a renovation might not be the best idea for you. In mine and Olivia's experience, together we have a lot more um, vision purpose and like uh, motivation. So we can finish projects very well together. And that's been one of the strengths with the renovation that we've been doing. But man, if it was just left up to one or the other of us alone to complete it completely by ourselves, it would be an extremely mountainous task to overcome. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about renovating. If you don't have someone to help you complete the tasks, or if you don't have that initial motivation to finish tasks yourself, don't renovate an RV. Next up, number three, getting down there. If you want to blame someone in the future when you're riding down the road and something breaks, don't renovate an RV. It's always easier to blame a mechanic from a shop that worked on the rig, but whenever the wheel well breaks and a tire blows out and the whole side of the rig falls apart, that is all squarely on jobs that either Olivia or I completed. So when something like this happens, the finger lies squarely on whoever worked on the project. So that is a weight to carry. The flip side of that is that we know every piece of the rig and we know exactly how it was constructed. So hopefully we did that with care and with a caution and with purpose. But you know, when the inevitable breakdown happens, the finger will be easy to point on whoever completed that specific project. We're getting down to the top two reasons not to renovate. And they're two of the most important reasons to consider if you want to do an RV renovation. 
The second reason we would say don't renovate an RV is if you don't like to do research. Not only do you have to research how to do actual tasks and learn actual skills, you have to research so many components that make up an entire RV, from plumbing, electrical, what type of wood to use for the subfloor, what size rivets to use. Every single project has multiple pieces of research. And the hard part about that is that everyone online has a different opinion. Every project that we can research online has been done 10 different ways. So even once the research is done, we still have to make a judgment call. And uh, that process has probably consumed more time than any other process of the whole renovation. We have spent hours and hours and hours researching. So if that is not something you're into doing, don't even think about renovating an RV. And the last and most important reason not to renovate an RV is if you enjoy sanity, don't think about renovating an RV. It takes so much mental endurance to work our way through this renovation. The renovation consumes more space in our brain than probably anything else. It is a part of our dreams. We wake up in the middle of the night thinking about every project that needs to be done, thinking about every wrong way we did every project. The renovation truly consumes our entire being. And with that, sanity uh, lives on the fringes. So you really got to keep focus. You really have to know how to take it all in stride and don't let the renovation get the best of you because it is a long, long process. So those are the 10 reasons why not to renovate an RV. Uh, I would love to hear any additional reasons you have or if you uh, think these reasons are true or if you think that they are a, a farce. But later on in the week, we'll give you 10 reasons why you should renovate an RV because those definitely exist too. So thank you so much for watching the video today. Thank you for coming along on my morning walk with me. And uh, we'll see you guys next time, later on.